Hello and welcome to Prego Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy. In the previous video, you have seen how to design the edit profile activity. Now in this video, we'll start coding it. We'll update the profile informations of the user. But before that, if you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link given in the description box. You can support this channel with whatever amount you want. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So now we'll open our edit profile activity java class file and we'll quickly initialize all the variables over here so private edit text and we'll need to press alt enter over here which will import the package now we need edit profile first name last name edit profile date of birth edit let's just put a comma over here and write it down edit profile phone number These are the stuff we are willing to change so we have it here now we need private firebase auth edit profile firebase auth and we also need a firebase database firebase database edit profile firebase database now all we need is to initialize all the components or cast all the components private void cast components now we need to call this method over here cast components now we'll do what we do every activity so first name would be text in view by id r dot id dot edit text edit profile rather edit profile first name now we need the last name edit text find view by id last name now we need the date of birth So now what we need is the phone number phone number now we need to get instances of firebase auth f get instance I say in every video do not miss the capital letters that might throw an error instance that's it so we have casted all the components so as we have done casting the components now one thing that we have missed is the button now let's give it private button edit profile save button now on cast components we can cast the button into this variable so save button equals button find view by id r dot id dot edit profile save button that's it 
now what we need to do is give a database reference global variable it profile my data reference and we can also do one more thing that private thing user id okay now underneath the cast components we'll initialize the database reference so my database ref equals firebase database dot get reference now this would be registered users and the u user id would be firebase auth dot get current user dot get uid now that we are done first we'll fetch the data and show it in the edit text then we will make the user change the data so one more thing we need to change is that we are also fetching the uh, male or female part the gender part so we'll use this java class that we have used to create the profile so we'll use this to edit it and also to fetch it so go to layout and the text we need to make a simple change let's get the preview out and let's select phone number so we'll select this text view and we'll paste it down below just above the button so paste then again paste so we'll write here everything else is okay and let's get rid of okay let's get the bold as it is your gender underneath the gender we'll write male or female so let it be as it is let's change the color color would be color edit text hint now let's get rid of the text and get rid of the text style now we need to assign an id id would be edit profile gender and in the edit profile activity we need a text view so private text view would be edit profile gender in the cast component we'll say text view in view by id r dot id dot gender here it is and set so we can work with the on create now so now we'll use the database reference to fetch it or face the data and get it into every edit text or text view so we'll use my data ref dot add value event listener new value event listener and on the on data change overrided method we'll write create java class fetch data equals data snapshot dot get value and in here we'll write create java class dot class once this is done so we'll write first thing is the first name so first name dot set text would be fetch data fetch data dot get first name then last name set text 
age data dot get last name then we'll write what we have is let's check we have date of birth phone number and gender so date of birth dot set text page data dot get date of birth then we have phone number dot set text page data dot get phone number then we have gender set text page data dot get gender that's it now the data is shown over here we need a semicolon to close this and on the on cancel if something wrong happens the user has every right to know what is wrong so we'll say database error dot get message which will show the exact error to the user now as we have fetched it we can go on with saving the data that the user will give or change so first we'll copy some check some methods that we have created in the create user profile java class let's open that and the first name checking all the boolean methods that we have are the checksum methods so we'll copy everything and we'll paste it over to the edit profile activity java class we'll need to check everything again and i'm not redoing it because i've done it already and this is very stupid to redo it again you can check the previous videos to know what i did okay so we need an on click listener so save button dot set on click listener new view on click listener and on the on click overrided method we'll do our coding so string first name equals first name dot get text dot to string dot trim now string last name get text dot to string dot trim now we need string um date of birth equals date of birth dot get text dot to string we won't trim this and we have is number get text to string i love the suggestions that nr studio gives it is very uh, close to whatever variable i am assigning i love that so dot trim and we'll also assign a gender so edit profile dot get text that's it now we can do the checksums so if check first name sorry check first name here first name and check last name last name and check date of birth date of birth and check phone number phone number if everything is okay we can proceed or else we'll write a toast message which will say please fill the details 
properly before saving. That's it. Now we can proceed. So first we need to create another method to upload the data. Private void upload user data. Here we need the same things. First name, last name, thing. birth string phone number string gender okay now i think i have made one more mistake over here that we need a child so just give a child over here only child user id and that will do the job we have our database reference completed now we can also use it in the upload user data so my data ref dot set value okay first we need to create the class variable so create user profile java class we'll name it save user data equals create java class new create user profile java class which will have the first name the last name the date of birth the phone number the gender once this is done we can say my data ref dot set value would be save user data dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and we'll also need on failure listener new on listener now when this fails we can need a semicolon over here when this fails we can show the exact error so e dot get message cause the exception is given by a variable e and in here when the task is completed if task dot is successful then we can say profile okay uh, sorry profile data saved successfully and we can change the activity to main activity so finish and we can say start activity new intent which would be edit profile activity dot this main program dot class All right when this is done we can call the upload user data so here we'll say upload user data then we'll say first name last name the birth number now what if the user presses back from here because we will be finishing the activity on the main program when the user clicks the button so we'll give a overrided method over here so on back pressed and here we'll write finish and start activity new intent which would be edit profile activity dot this to main program dot class we need this because we are finishing the uh, main program and now when we are migrating to this activity when the user presses back this will automatically get closed and the whole program would exit but we don't need that we want the user to 
go back to the main program again so this is it now we need to go to profile details fragment and we have assigned a button over here which is of no use but we'll make it of some use so edit profile button now where's the on create over here so we'll write a note that edit profile button on right here profile details edit profile dot set on click listener new view on click listener so we want to change the activity to edit profile activity so as this is a fragment will we want to call the main activity and change it from there so we first get the activity then we finish the activity now on start activity new intent so we want to name the activity because we won't be able to use this or the main program dot this over here because this is a fragment a part of that program so we'll say get activity calling the main program then we'll write edit profile activity dot class simple now i think if the program runs it would run very smoothly let's check it out now before compiling the program i made a very silly and stupid mistake over here um, the user id cannot be under the reference cause we are using the user id before it is being initialized with the firebase auth so just copy this line copy and then we can paste it here and this program would work well now let's compile the program and see how it works so our program has been compiled and let's open this app now the welcome screen again now the main program opens so let's open the profile now i changed my profile pic though so let's scroll down edit profile the edit profile activity opens and we can edit everything that is in our database that is over here so i've just opened my database because the change which i make you can see it real time so i just need to change my phone number and uh, okay let's change everything then we can change back again let's give it here prego then let's give it softs let's change the date of birth to 02 and let's change the phone number to one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and you cannot change the mail because this is a text view so let's hit save and this gets changed real time the activity exits and it comes back again to main program so when we hit profile again we have our information over here now if we can want to change it we can change it from here i'll write my name again and everything else is fine so let's save it when we save it the fields get changed so this is working well so as always if you have learned something from this video please give a big thumbs up if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you stay notified about my latest videos then and there the source code of this program would be given in the description box do download it and you all are seeing my videos but you all are not commenting your problems or your suggestions i would love to hear from you from the bottom of my heart if you are liking it please tell me if you are not liking it please also tell me and tell me the ways that i can improve and i have a lot of subscribers but i don't have so many views i do not understand why uh, people are not seeing my videos uh, maybe the notifications are not reaching them or uh, you all are not interested in my uh, stuff that i am showing so i would love to hear it from you and you can also suggest me of how the other ways i can get connected to you through twitter or from instagram or through facebook suggest me anything i am here i am here to listen to you all so that's it thank you bye bye see you in the next video